keep them perimeter and then buy time for this group out here and give, you know, Arenas a, an opportunity to get out on the break. Because when you play 2-3 zone, you get a turnover and a missed shot, you can get out at fast break quicker than out of a man-to-man -man set. It's interesting, people always talk about the zone and the deficiencies of rebounding. You're not in a great position to rebound on the defensive end, but there's an offensive end for it. Butler knocks down the shot, and the Wizards have the largest lead of game four, a six-point end. Everything comes down to how you teach the zone. You know, you know, people make that statement, they throw it out. But if you have a good zone, and you work on your man-to-man -man principles that are part of the zone, you can't make that statement and say, blanket. Right, that's right. not a blanket statement. Daniels back the other way after the miss. It's a 7-0 run here for the Wizards. You have to see the double team now, but there he is. Daniels takes the three. He'll just from coming at him. Now with defensive confusion, it creates Mason with a tough shot. But a good shot. Mason is playing with great confidence. This young man can score the basketball, and the teammates all have confidence in him, so they're going to look for him. But notice the trapping on the sidelines and down in the corners by Cleveland. Washington, one pass, the second pass will open up people. Devin Brown dives baseline, so Gala gets him on the arm. And the foul is called the second unit doing it here for the Wizards, including Mason out of Virginia. Now, this is a difficult shot because it looked like he was almost behind the backboard. But he had a good look at the basket. And when you're on fire, everything looks easy, Mike. The big key, can they continue to beat the trapping on both sides in the corner? And that's what Mike Brown was talking about the last time we went into with the wiretap. Kevin Brown at the line. Elise has more on Roger Mason. Oh, Mike, well, Roger Mason is the underachiever in his family. His father was an eye surgeon. His mother is a nurse. His sister is about to graduate from Harvard Law this spring. His brother is about to apply for medical school. So he said that his family never misses an opportunity to get on him for being the one to not have his degree. He, he left in his junior year at Virginia, so he hasn't graduated yet. And they remind him every chance they get. They always say, well, Roger wouldn't know that because he doesn't have his degree. <laughs> not only down in Charlottesville at UVA, a couple hour drive from here for three years of college, second team all ACC as a junior. Also, uh, Good Council High School in Wheaton, Maryland, here in the area. Also, Karam Butler misses James. You know, Devin Brown's the only Cavalier to score. Cleveland has five points in the second quarter. Scratch that. LeBron James made up his mind, Mike, on the other side of half court. And that he was scoring. He is still missed at that phantom ball, right, that put him on the bench. <laughs> James. In double digits now, eight in the first. That field goal gives him ten. Some Gila working on James. Did he get a third foul on LeBron? Yes, he did. I like the fact that he never gave up on himself. He kept going down in there and he accepted the contact. Oh, it's not LeBron. Eddie Jordan can't believe it. He said, Michael Smith, come on. You're telling me you're reporting right on LeBron and you're going to give it to Ben Wallace? Now, keep an eye on here. You can see that's where they wanted with the push. You see the forearm in the lower back with the push-off. You're allowed to lay that forearm in there. And that's what Eddie Jordan was looking for. So are we saying uh, a makeup at one end uh, erases the other? <laughs> you don't hear that very often, but in the 70s, all right, and the uh, 80s, you would hear that every game at playoff time. You know, I, I, I can understand Channing overrated for LeBron because that's the whole soldier boy theme of this series. But gosh, this guy's getting so much run that he doesn't deserve. But Le LeBron, LeBron didn't foul a guy. So he's getting, they're Channing overrated because he didn't get a foul called on him. It is great to see the fans here engaged. This franchise was down for a while. And Ernie Grunfeld in the front office and the head coach, Eddie Jordan, really energized this franchise. Four straight playoff appearances. The house is packed all in white and loud. Oh, boy. West, out to lunch. Yeah. He, he definitely took his eye off of that pass because he was looking at the defense that was rotating out to him. I like what Eddie Jordan is doing. Full court pressure, man to man. Uh, on foul shots, he's 2 2 1, 3 quarter. And then he's giving them different looks, even with the zone. Agent Zero. Still a zero in the point column. They would save it, but right to Ben Wallace. Abs push and find LeBron. Good idea. <laughs> 
first. Don't, don't push his button. No, I, I, I think he's accepting the overrated champ, okay? I, I mean, not too many people can do what he's doing here in this first half. We kind of say no big deal. 20,000 people derisively chanting at you. I mean, you're going to have some pretty thick skin to let that go by and not affect you. 